Hello there, my name is Sean McGowan, and I'm the VP of Basic Services here at Route North America. In this presentation, I'm hoping to open your eyes to the idea of data-driven LVL production and process changes. Well, let's talk about the importance of data collection. To start, let's take a moment to understand why the data from your production and processes is so important. At first glance, the significance of automated production and process data collection in the making of LVL may seem quite low when compared to all the automation and IT needs of running a whole factory. Manually gathering this data gives some insight as to how your processes are working, but is it telling you the whole story? What may be occurring every minute or second in your LVL plant may not seem overly important, but as all these events are gathered and analyzed, they begin to paint a very different picture. You soon realize you can reduce or eliminate many mistakes in your production planning or maintenance or your operations or process changes by having a firm grasp and understanding of what your production and process data really is. Production and process changes can be made now on fact-based decisions when you have a solid foundation of data collected from the machine lines within your factory. When collecting, processing, and analyzing this data, we're talking about management information systems. Here at Raute, our industry-leading solution is called MillSites. Our MillSites data collection platform has been delivered to hundreds of production lines over the years. Customers who have utilized MillSites have realized with ease with which they can make profitable decisions for production, processes, and maintenance. What does data collection really mean? It's easy to talk about data collection and fact-based process changes, but what does it really mean? There are many important steps throughout the LVL process, from peeling and drying veneer, to grading and sorting it, to laying it up and pressing it into LVL, as well as many other processes throughout. In each area though, there are specific, significant amounts of data that can be gathered and analyzed. That data may be as simple as log diameters, peeling speeds, veneer temperature, or as in-depth as veneer visual grades. How about strength, production recovery? Much of the data likely to be gathered is already done by existing systems. Is it as old fashioned as pen and paper recording by operators or online systems that display and capture that data? What is being done with that information is what matters most. Let's look at some specific examples. Downtime. What about the stoppages? Of course, you are aware of major downtime that occurs within your factory. But what about the small stops or the frequency and rate of those stops? For the most part, these may go unnoticed but short stops on a production line can lead to bigger problems. It isn't just the direct effect of stoppages causing a, a loss in production, it's also how it is affecting the line performance and the production quality. Short stops on a veneer dryer are a classic case. Let's say there are issues with the dryer outfeed and veneer, which causes the dryer to stop. It may only take less than 30 seconds to straighten the veneer and to get the line running again. But that 30 second stop on a five minute drying time has now caused you to over dry your veneer by 10%. Multiple stops over a short period can cause the issue to be cyclical. The more you stop the line, the more you over dry the veneer. The more you over dry the veneer, the more problems you potentially have on the outfeed and you must stop the line then. And on and on it will go. But being able to collect the short stop downtime amount and frequency allows you to see the potential impact of it. From there, you could determine your actions. 
Is it a material handling issue on the dryer outfeed? Or is it affecting the veneer flow somehow? Or are there actual quality issues with the veneer causing stoppages? Maybe you have wavy veneer from, from too tight a peel caused at the lathe, or, or cracked or split veneer from poor peeling or, or poor quality logs. Now you can see the effect of the problem that may have been hidden in short stop downtime that wasn't recorded before. Besides the short stoppages, there are, of course, longer stoppages that can be automatically recorded on machine sensors as well. With mill sites, longer downtimes can be categorized and organized so that they can be clearly understood. The operator can also record more, more details as needed to ensure proper identification of the problem is given. Having all this downtime recorded, it allows you to truly see the line's performance. Did you achieve your 80% uptime with one long stop or a series of short frequent stops? Each case has its own challenges and unique solutions, but by understanding the downtime data, you can make informed decisions. Let's now look at production and process data. What really matters? Measuring and tracking the production throughout uh, various process centers is obviously needed to ensure production obligations are met and process control set points are used to regulate production outcomes. But other information is potentially behind these numbers. In many cases, process data can be used to trigger many maintenance uh, actions, from cycle counts on a veneer stacker to signal or monitor cylinder wear, to scarfing line piece count, highlighting saw usage, to maybe the length of veneer peeled on a single lathe knife to show when that should be changed. These are all simple examples of how fact-based process data could be used to trigger planned maintenance actions rather than having costly downtime. Besides these simple examples, you can reach deeper into your processes to monitor a multitude of different areas such as motor currents, vacuum levels, hydraulic pressures. If it's measurable, the data is capturable. You can monitor the usage of your equipment in specific areas. The better you can plan and prepare for maintenance, the better you will be. Looking deeper at production and process data, we can also understand if there are issues within processes or in between them. We can begin to study very specific cases, especially with the more sophisticated measuring tools, such as the analyzers in Raute's line of products. These analyzers measure a host of different things, from log shape, volume, to veneer moisture, density, visual grade, and strength, as well as the veneer shape and position. All this data allows us to understand how you are using your raw material and if you are maximizing the potential. By gathering data from these analyzers and being able to use the analytics within mill sites, you can clearly see changes in processes or deviations from what our predictable outcomes should be. For example, structural LVL, strength is key. Having the ability to understand and predict where your high strength veneer is coming from will allow you to forecast what products you can make and to better utilize the raw material within your factory. When peeling veneer, log species, log diameter, veneer thickness, moisture and strength or density can all be overlaid to understand where the highest value veneer comes from. In order to manage production, data gathered from the PLCs, as well as these intelligent machine centers, such as the analyzers from Raute's line of products, gives you the facts to confidently take action. As an example, with data through analyzers, you can quickly see if veneer strength or quality of high or quantity of high strength veneer is dropping. 
Density measurements on the green end can swiftly show you are losing high value outer log sap veneer due to poor XY optimizing before peeling or temperature centers, sensors and XY scanning can show recovery loss caused by greater spin out rates, rates, which may be attributed to log temperature not being correct before peeling. Another example could be at the LVL press. You have the ability to look at the process data for each billet pressing. Are the thickness control, pressing pressures, and temperatures correct? What about the closing and opening cycles? Has the billet been degassed correctly? No matter what it is, the data can be analyzed to see the cause and effect of upset conditions, changes in your processes, or how to ultimately improve them. Finally, let's look at data gathering and analytics through the life cycle of machines. When looking at the machine's life cycle, it can be broken down to, into three phases. One, commissioning and ramping up of new equipment or modernized equipment. Two, continuous improvement to that equipment. Or three, modernization evaluation of equipment as it gets to the end of its life. In the first phase, Data analytics is quite important to understand how a particular machine is running. Data gathered from the machine can easily be used to qualify during the commissioning if a machine is making its production uh, obligations and working as it's intended. The second phase is the longest in the life of the machine. In this phase, most of the optimizing of equipment is done to extract all the value you can from it. This is where it may be the most important to gather as much process and production data as you can. Due to the significance of this, relying on manually logged data is not good enough to make intelligent changes. You need 24-7 data collection to capture all the events. Rote's mill sites allows you to gather the data as well as use the analytics to see what changes may be needed. To start, as mentioned previously, all downtime can be scrutinized to see what enhancements may be made. Once downtime is minimized, are there other areas to improve? Can data-driven maintenance be implemented to further reduce unexpected stoppages and to maximize maintenance? Uh, effects? Yes, it can. What about the line's performance? Can running parameters and settings be modified to speed up the process? Yeah, it probably can be done. Studying the production and process data and making fact-based decisions allows you to achieve this. Once the equipment has been worked and is at its full potential, it's time to look at modernizing or replacing it to achieve more gains. Data gathered from the current machine can now be compared to what new machines or upgrades can potentially do. This information can be used for capital investment justifications, as well data collected from newly modernized machines can demonstrate investment was worthwhile and allows the return on investment as promised to be calculated. From this point, we are back to the start of the machine life cycle and it will continue again. So why Raute? Through this short presentation, I've tried to demonstrate on a high level, the utter importance of data collection and analytics and the fact-based decision-making that is derived from it. At Raute, our mill sites platform can be utilized on all machines we provide, from our R3 series through to our R7s. To acquire, analyze, and interpret production and process data throughout your entire factory. When coupled with intelligent data from Raute's sophisticated analyzers, the control over your processes grows far and wide. Let's not forget all the quality control data that is typically manually entered and gathered in most factories. 
This can now also be entered into Mill Sites, giving another layer of information on how your process is working and where it may potentially be improved. The future of LVL is bright, making sure your profits can increase through data-driven decisions makes it even brighter. Thanks for your time and interest and have a great day.